the 2023 Suzuki S-Cross arrived in Ireland last year and it's a big improvement on the model it replaces. The styling is more boxy and rugged than before. Altogether, it's a compact SUV with a fair bit of charm. Whether you go for the mild hybrid or the full hybrid, all models come very well equipped as standard with 17-inch alloy wheels, LED headlamps, roof rails, rear privacy glass, and silver skid plates under the bumpers at the front and rear. For the moment, the S-Cross full hybrid is only available in the motion trim level. So, there's no option as yet to upgrade to the ultra trim with more gear like a panoramic sunroof, 360 camera, and all-drip four-wheel drive. That's still reserved for the S-Cross mild hybrid only. If you're looking for an efficient, good value, compact SUV, the 2023 Suzuki S-Cross is really worth looking at. It's a lot cheaper to buy than rivals and comes very well equipped. It's cheaper with more boot space and there's not too much difference in efficiency in real-world driving. A new face for the instrument dials and a new color display between the analog Tacho and Speedo have also been added and seat trims have been revised. The cloth trim in the Suzuki S-Cross is nice enough, but the leather and fabric in the S-Cross Premium is a little more contemporary than the old S-Cross's mix of real and faux leather. There is still plenty of hard plastics on the top of the dash and tops of the doors, but places you're likely to rest your elbow are padded. Even with these solid plastic finishes, the cars we drove at launch felt well screwed together with no flimsy or loose parts and no rattles. The driver and front passenger get decent space. The seating position is upright affording good outward visibility, but the seat height isn't so low that you need to drop into it. Slim front pillars are great for visibility too. Suzuki introduced a full hybrid powertrain for the S-Cross. It's the same unit found in the Vitar Hybrid, comprising a 1.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engine, an electric motor and a battery mounted under the boot floor. Power gets to the road through a six-speed automatic gearbox. The upside is that the full hybrid system offers the lowest official CO2 emissions of any model in the S-Cross range at just 118G-KM. That makes it an attractive option for company car buyers, as it has a low benefit and kind rating of just 28%. If you're a private buyer, you'll also enjoy slightly cheaper road tax than the mild hybrid S-Cross. However, the full hybrid S-Cross is considerably slower than the standard car. It only makes 115 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque, which yawns out a pedestrian 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 12.7 seconds on the front-wheel drive model and 13.5 seconds on the four-wheel drive variant. Definitely.